President Ronald Reagan once said that the greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. He's the one that gets the people to do the greatest things. Well, the topic relating to any facet of leadership, be it leadership skills or its development, is, is very immense and huge. I could speak on the topic for hours together based on my experience as well as you know having studied the lives of several leaders in different walks of life but as i have limitation of time let me just touch upon some vital areas of leadership in the context of individual leadership I would say leadership is the capacity and ability to lead, run, manage or guide other individuals, teams or entire organization. This is putting it simply. Research is conducted with regard to leadership has generated many concepts and characteristics which are essential for leadership. According to me, there are 18 characteristics attached to a good successful leader. Possessing some exceptional qualities, interpersonal dealings, crisis management skills, timely responses, spontaneous actions, defining roles, performance, conduct, behavior, power, mission, vision, goals, uh, sensitivity, compassion, and intelligence. My research shows that any good and successful leader should have minimum 10 exceptional characteristics. But the lives of leaders which I have studied, I have, I have seen leaders, very few leaders who have 14 to 15 traits of, of leadership. They were Alexander the Great, Napoleon Bonaparte, Martin Luther King Jr. And in, in, the, in the present times, I would say uh, that the Chinese online retail giant, uh, Alibaba founder, Jack Ma, as a, as a great leader. So I would sort of advise all of you to, that it would be worthwhile if you will go through the the written material about their lives and biographies uh, you know of these four leaders uh, whose name I have just shared there are many commentaries on leadership skills and roles but the aptest one I found was in the commentary by Jia Lin on Sun Tzu art of war the most important and popular military classic of ancient China you must read the translated texts of the art of war. Jia Lin, interpreting the text, says that leadership, listen carefully, that leadership is a matter of intelligence. One, trustworthiness, humaneness, courage, and discipline. Reliance on intelligence alone results in rebelliousness. Exercise of humanness alone results in weakness. Fixation on trust results in folly. Dependence on the strength of courage results in violence. Excessive discipline and sternness in command result in cruelty. When one has these five virtues together, each appropriate to its function, then one can be a leader. And leadership is not a static role it must develop and grow each day with the changing needs challenges and evolution and expectation uh, uh, expectations beg your pardon of the society or the corporation as the case may be the leadership is not about only yielding holding power and authority it's about good governance it's about accountability it is about creating more leaders it is about you know, leaving a formidable legacy. Leadership is about governing, uh, not, not, not merely ownership. You know, even an owner has to learn to lead. Indeed, it, its underlying principles have been long established and discussed at, at length in Arthashastra, which was written in the 4th century BC. This thesis of practice on governance and leadership is said to have been written by Kotalya, the, the Prime Minister of uh, India's great Emperor Chandragupta Maurya. 
In the context of leadership, one could draw the crux and core from the mulyas or values found in Kotalya's Arthashastra, which reads as Praja Sukhe Sukham Rajya Prajana Macha Hite Hitam Natma Priyam Hitam Rajanaha Prajanam Chayatam Priyam, which means in the happiness of his subject lies the king's happiness. In their welfare, his welfare. He shall not consider as good only that which pleases him alone. So, I'll close by saying that leadership is a way of life and not a set of rules. A way of life that necessitates taking into account the interest of all concerned. Thank you so much and see you next time with another topic of your interest.